everybody, it's Tiffany Stone, and today is the day we are finally starting this Jeep build. Not only was I lucky enough to get Zot to give me a brand new 2018 Rubicon, the new JL body, but I'm out here in Fenton, Michigan with Unlimited Off-Road. They're gonna help me put this all together. Pete's inside already waiting for me, but a great thing is another big thank you to Dynamax Exhaust and Rancho Shocks for giving us the parts to be able to put a two inch lift on this bad boy today. So that's what we're gonna get started. A big reason why I wanted to do this build so bad was I wanted to pay back and do a little bit of a big thank you to all our vets out there. It's gonna be my honor to be able to do something, put this Jeep together. So hopefully at the 2019 Memorial Weekend, we'll be able to auction it off. We'll be able to do a bunch of big things and just give a big payback and a big thank you to all the vets. Gonna hop in. Follow me, it's gonna be a great day. So for today, we're gonna to put a two inch lift on here. We have our front and back coil springs. We're gonna put a full set of Rancho shocks on there. And we also do have an optional correction bracket right here. I cannot wait to get all of this on there. I've grabbed Pete. Pete is gonna help me do this install. I know it's very simple to do an install, but it's my first time. So we're gonna leave it to the, pretty much the man behind all of this over here. He's gonna teach me. Pete, how simple is this install? Oh, very simple, actually. I think you can do it by yourself. Okay, so what's gonna be the first step? Now we're gonna pull off the wheels and tires, and then we'll loosen all the suspension components and start putting the new parts on. Perfect, let's get started. Oh. already loosened up everything over here to make it a little bit easier to get to the shock so we're just going to pull out this bolt right here and then we're going to pull out this bolt right here and here's our old shock today we've decided to use the corner specific progressive rate coil springs exclusive to the JL now that we've taken off the sway bar links we are able to lower the rear axle which in return makes it a little bit easier to get out this rear coil spring. Now that Pete has rerouted the emergency brake lines back here, with the mount that is included in the kit, we are all set for the rear coil springs. Rancho has made it super simple and user-friendly by putting an L and an R back here on the springs. One of the key benefits of using these shocks right here is that it does come standard with the DRS technology, which means the dynamic rebound spring, which is exclusive only to Rancho shocks. One key aspect of that is it's going to reduce the amount of roll and sway that you're gonna have in your Jeep. So when we take out the new Rancho RS5000 shocks, they're all gonna be pre-compressed just like this. But you need to take off the strap, and in order to do that, we're gonna have Pete show you, and he'll be ready to go on the Jeep. So the main reason that we want to put on the optional correction brackets is so we can recenter the front axle, but also so we can correct the caster back to factory specs. So next, we are going to put in the optional correction bracket. It's going to go right up here. Rancho has pretty much made this install super simple with the step-by-step -step instructions that not only come with the parts, but come with it labeled with all the extra bolts and nuts that you'll need right there for you so you'll never have to search around. And that's gonna be very convenient, like I said, with the step-by-step -step instructions.
everybody, it's Tiffany Stone. I'm here at Unlimited Off-Road in Fenton, Michigan. Brought in my brand new 2018 Rubicon that you see right behind me. When I picked it up, I didn't like the way it sounded. I wanted to change a few things on it, so I'm gonna have the boys take off the standard exhaust for me, and I'm gonna have them put on something special. It's gonna be the Dynomax Super Turbo Axle Back Exhaust. Gonna give it that nice aggressive sound, that throaty sound that I've been looking for, because who doesn't like a great sounding Jeep leaving your driveway? Taking down the stock exhaust is gonna be super simple. You're gonna unbolt this bracket, this bracket, this bracket over here, and the entire thing will come down in one piece. It's been a great day here at Unlimited Off-Road in Fenton. The guys were able to put on a two inch lift, which is a sports lift from Rancho. And then we also put the Dynomax exhaust back here. But stay tuned because in a couple of weeks, we're gonna add some wheels and tires. So you don't wanna miss it.